Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and today we'll be looking at the Hover Bar. It's made by 12 South and it's, as you can see in the picture here, it's a, it's a bar basically designed so that it holds your iPad. Um, I've got my iPad 3 and I want to use it so I can uh, basically be able to have my laptop and the iPad 3 as an extended monitor which I will show you guys how it works. Now, You'll have to excuse the box, it's a bit sort of broken in and, and run down. And the reason for that being is that this is actually a second hand item, okay? It was pre-owned and I bought it off a place called Gumtree and I, this goes for brand new, about 130 bucks. I've seen it for 110 cheapest. I got this for about 30 bucks, okay, or 35, give or take with postage and handling. Oops, sorry about that. Now, you have to excuse that, it's a, it's a little beat up. I have to admit I did that, something was stuck underneath there and as I pulled it I ripped it. But nonetheless, it's the product that counts and I have had a look before I've opened this. It is in pretty good nick, um, good condition should I say, for you guys that don't know the Australian colloquialism, nick. But anyway, um, instructions are in there, okay, um, tells you how to put it together and all that but I'll show you guys how that's done. Surprisingly this was still in there, goes to show. They say it wasn't all that used that much. And yeah, it is in pretty good condition, I believe it. All right, so what do we get? Um, this is the clamp, okay, so it's pretty cool. Um, uh, the only thing about it I found that's weird is that you have to use an Allen key, which they supply as well, it's in here, but it would have been good if there was some like little lever and you could just, you don't need the Allen key and you could just undo it and do it and place it wherever you want. Because you can mount this as well on the iMac, which I have an iMac right in front there. You can probably see the little logo. Um, or oh, sorry, Thunderbolt display, should I say, not iMac. But if you've got an iMac as well, it, same thing. Anyway, um, it's got a little rubber stopper here, which the rubber stopper lets you take it off and adjust it depending on the angle you want to bolt in the arm here, okay? So it, it's variable. We'll pop that little stopper in there, and as you can see, it's got some nice rubber little bits so it won't scratch the surfaces of where you, wherever it is you decide to clamp it on. I'll just undo that a little, so... And show you a bit more okay rubber bits there and a rubber bit at the bottom popping that to the side this is the actual bendy bendy bendable arm <laughs> oh, made a new word okay and as you can see it's pretty stiff pretty firm don't know if it will become loose over time but pretty uh, i feel like one of those strong men bending it anyway it's pretty good okay so Pop that to the side, as you can see, it's got a little ball joint here, Whoop. and we'll show you how it all installs, a little washer in there, okay, so I'll pop that down, and this is the magic bit, now I have to admit this feels so flimsy, it's not funny, but I have pre-tested this and put the iPad in, and man, it really does a good job, you've got a little uh, bit here, which is the screwing and locking bit. I'll show you how that works in just a moment. But as you can see, it's got two grooves here. iPad uh, sort of sits under those bits and then clips on from this end here as well. If you can see. If you can see. Okay. That's good. And um, it basically says here it's for the iPad 2 and new iPad 3rd generation. Okay, so I've got an iPad 3. So it works on mine. Okay, pop that to the side. Clips, surprisingly unopened. This is for the cables, if you're running, say, the cable from the iPad, the power cable, I'm assuming it will run all the way down. So you get these beauties in there, unopened, and opened, which is your Allen key that they supply you with. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, popping that all to the side, that's the box, nothing else in there. So, let's get that out of the way, and, connect it all up. Now they say don't put the iPad into the actual uh, clip yet. You first want to bolt this piece in with the uh, with the clamp into wherever it is you're going to put it and then install it. Okay, so what we'll do is, so in other words, don't put the iPad in here because the iPad will be a counterweight and we'll throw it off, off while you're trying to, to bolt it on. So the way it works is pretty simple. You sort of just take this I'm working behind the camera here. Let's see if we can just pop that in there like that. And then you want to sort of take this bit, thread that through, move up, and then just tie that down. 
and this should lock it in so it doesn't come out but allow you to still be able to maneuver it and obviously the tighter you make this the more firm it is which is basically true you can feel that already let's make it quite tight oh yeah it's pretty good pretty decent and as you can see like that and you can still adjust it accordingly okay now the other end goes in to here now again you can screw it this way or you can put it in this way depending on how you're going to use it for demonstration's sake I'm just going to screw it in like this so you lovely people can see and that's it Give a good tight thing and then it's done look how easy it was to put together wow this is really stiff and firm so it's good it shows that it's really going to hold on now I'm not going to bolt it in yet um, but what I will do is I'll actually I'll pop the iPad in at last okay what I will do is I will show you how I'm going to use it now I'm going to probably have to sort of pause the camera now and we'll come back in a moment I'll just sort of pop it in there and then get the camera around so I can show you Okay guys, now you'll have to forgive me if it's a bit dusty back here, but I'm behind one of the monitors, or one of the Thunderbolt displays, sorry, uh, Apple Thunderbolt displays, and I've already put in the attachment as you can see here. Now, I've left the Allen key in there just so you can get an idea of how it works in terms of the way you would tighten it. You just slide it on, adjust it to where you want, and then you tighten it with the Allen key. The bar comes all the way out, and I'll just come around this way and around as you can see and I'll just sort of pop this up here like so and this is the iPad okay and we would take the iPad and it basically just goes in like and that and you just pop this in and push and it snaps in and there you go done and that's it and obviously you can adjust accordingly it's a bit stiff at the back there in the way I've done it, but you get the idea. It's pretty firm. It sits there and you can use it. No problem. So forth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm really going to be using it, which is the coolest way of all. So stay tuned for that now. I'll take you to it in just a sec. Okay guys, check it out. I've hooked it all up and you're seeing it. It's uh, the uh, hover bar hooked up to a portable desk. Um, little mini desk that I got uh, so when I'm laying back on the couch and I'm working on the MacBook whether it's a MacBook Pro that I've got 17 inch or the uh, Air as you can see here for example I can use my MacBook uh, sorry my iPad as a dual display so I'm just showing you the back of it I'm running a cable because the particular app I'm using to do this um, runs with a cable I prefer it because there's less lag instead of working through Wi-Fi plus if I'm away from home it's just a matter of plugging it in so let's bring it around so you can see Do -do 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 -do. there it is she's a beauty now you'll have to excuse the mess behind uh, it's a workplace here it's gonna be messy look at that look at that I mean is that beautiful or what this brings a tear to my eye so what you're seeing here is I'll just zoom out so we can get a, a better look here is the MacBook Air up there and I'm running it uh, horizontally but you can rotate it as well it still works no problem and I've already got a window open here just so you can see so if I drag it up there look at that bang I can just run it run multiple displays up there it might be a little bit washed out you'll have to excuse me and that noise you're hearing is just this Takina lens which is it's a good lens but it's a horrible make on the inside it squeaks it's just I took it back because I thought it was a faulty thing but it's common with these lenses anyway long story short I won't get into it so what you're seeing here is this um this wonderful wonderful iPad uh, uh, iPad 3 working with my uh, MacBook Air and it's running as a dual display now how I hook this all up Guys, I'll make another video. Just uh, check out my channel and you'll see. Maybe I'll post a link under this in case you're wondering. Um, showing you how I connected this up, what applications I used and so forth. Because there's a couple out there. You can go wireless, which I do have. 
uh, through Wi-Fi connects or you can do it through uh, a cable system as I've got here. So I hope you like this video. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what can I say? Um, the other thing about it is on the side here, the actual hover bar itself. Connecting it up was a little bit of a play around. Um, the bar itself, as stiff as it is, doesn't sit 100%. So you have to get it on a sort of right angle. Sometimes it falls, sometimes it doesn't. The angle I've, because uh, I screwed it, I think, look, I'll just bring that in. I don't know if I'll be able to focus it. There we go. So where I screwed it in here on the top part, it was falling all over the place. So I, I, I screwed it on the other bit underneath and ran it all the way up. And now it's really good, like it's stable. You know, I could even rotate it. It's a bit stiff to rotate because I've got it really tied up at the back really well. But as you can see there, okay, so you can rotate it wherever you want, whatever direction you want. So I'll just put that sort of back and push it down. So it's pretty stiff and pretty good, okay? It won't, it won't fall. Uh, it won't fall on you, at least I hope it won't. But um, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, if you know something about this that I don't know, please share. I'd love to know about the hover bar, what else, other ways, other uses, or any any information you have. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be throwing up some more cool videos. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't. Sorry, I did my best. Also, don't forget, give me some Facebook loving, Google+, Plus, you know, all that social media stuff. Twitter me. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are Okay guys, I just want to make a really quick edit in here and just show you with the clips uh, How nice and neat it looks, huh? Is that really good? What? Check it out. Okay, so I just that's just one really quick little thing I want to put in I, I just popped the clips in after I finished doing the review. So uh, Just something for you guys to see so you get a, a better feel really nice and neat looks great This is a really great product Really, really great. I'm happy with it.